There are many hidden gems around Albany that we may not know are historic. In honor of Black History Month, WLB News 10's Gabrielle Tate tells us about the Ponds Aiding Society Cemetery. It's near Albany State University and how one historian plans to preserve its history. James Archie Pone was born in North Carolina on November 11, 1876. He was a descendant of a slave who earned his freedom by serving in the Revolutionary War. In 1919, James A. Pone came to Albany, and after developing a working relationship with J.W. Hawley, founder of Albany State University, Pone decided to start the Pone's Aiding Society to help ex-slaves transition into society as freed men and women. It's like you got a field out there, there's cows, and one day you open the field out and say, bye, leave, with no preparation, no skills, no nothing other than being a slave. So that's what happened at the end of slavery. They just opened the gate and said, bye, y'all gone. And so we were ill prepared to survive as free people. Aiding societies would help black people with things such as food, clothing, securing jobs, and even finding a place to be buried. Harper tells me back then, black people were not allowed to be buried within city limits. When the cemetery was first started, the Albany city limit was the Flint River. So the cemetery, located on the corner of Old Radium Springs Road and East Highland Avenue, was technically the county. Harper's extensive research also helped him to uncover a few other former slaves and even veterans buried in the cemetery, including one with a Purple Heart. Harper was able to track down the veterans' ancestors and locate the Purple Heart. They have this, what they call a Purple Heart Wall of Fame. The military did not keep a record of Purple Hearts, so it was up to individuals to share that information with them. So I got up, once we got the, all our paper together, I took the, the paper and I sent it to the Purple Heart Wall of Fame. And they did their investigation and they wrote me a letter telling me that they were then putting his name on the Hall of Fame, thanking me for my effort. While some of the graves in this graveyard may not be easily seen to the untrained eye, Michael Harper is doing his best to keep their names alive. Harper is doing his best to preserve the graveyard while simultaneously researching the people buried in it and finding their relatives. Time has covered or buried many of the grave sites. Harper has uncovered some, but not all of them. With each one, he learns another valuable piece of black history. James Archie Pone died on May 12, 1970 at 93 years old. He worked most of his life to help educate others and to improve their lives. Those ideals created a simple belief for Michael Harper. Before you get to where you want to go, you have to understand where you have been. Gabrielle Tate, WALB, your hometown news source.